Hello and welcome back to episode 12 of Talk of the Crown and today is a special edition because it's a Trooping the Colour special because of course today Trooping the Colour 2018 happened and wasn't it amazing? I hope you all got a chance to see it either live streaming on the internet or on TV or even from my video clip montages that I put together but however way you enjoyed it I hope that you enjoyed it. Now as always the format is exactly the same I am live and you can ask me a question you can talk to me you can have a chat the direction of this chat is entirely up to you I read as many comments as I can possibly try to cover and I'm going to try and access the comments today from my phone so let's go to my channel on here and see if I can find the chat room and if I can't on here I have already opened it on a different screen as a backup um, so let's see if I can find the chat room. Where could it be? Aha, I see it. Okay, I see it. And I see that we already have quite a few people in here already. So I'm going to do a few hello. So hello to Sweet Serenity. Hello to you. And Scott Goff and HJ London. Um, and Vicky P is here too. And Nora Cherry, ASMR Sarah, Corey Tapp. And I'm sure there's so many other people which I haven't had um chance to scroll up and down so let's start with HJ London's comment who says what a wonderful day of celebration it was so impressive it was indeed um I enjoyed it from home I know um maybe a few of you actually went to the live event and if you did please let me know um what the atmosphere was like there because it did seem a very di different atmosphere this year last year was perhaps a little bit more somber they had one minute's silence at the start of it but there was cheering in the crowds this year as the queen drove by in her carriage and Meghan and harry so a lot more of a kind of jovial feel i think this year um we also have our resident moderator jamie hm the king who has appeared in the chat so make sure you all behave yourselves he will be watching um and hello to Angel, who says, Hi, Elliot, I haven't talked to you in a while. How is everything going in England right now? Here in the US and in Oregon, Oregon rather, um, you've got tsunamis and volcano problems. Oh, my goodness. Um, I heard of the volcanoes in um, Hawaii. Um, but wherever you are, I hope you're all happy and safe. And in the UK, we're doing fine. It, we've got really, we've had really nice weather. And it was a beautiful day. Um, a, for the Queen's official birthday. Of course, the Queen has two birthdays, uh, not her real birthday. Her real birthday is in April. The one in June is because the weather is better. Uh, basically, that's that's the reason why she has two birthdays. And it's the official parade to mark, um, to mark her birthday. And I think it all went without a hitch, apart from, okay, maybe one hitch, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and that's um, poor Lord Guthrie, and we'll we'll talk about poor Lord Guthrie later. Um, but let's carry on with some of your questions. And hello, hello to the Countess Bavaria and Cynthia Lewis, who says, any news about the person who fell off the horse? Um, that's the person I've just been speaking about, and I don't have any official word as of yet, unless anyone else has heard anything. But I haven't heard anything about other than he was just taken to hospital. Um, but I haven't heard any further news on that. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that he is OK. And we'll talk a little bit more about that um, later. Jamie says next week is 50,000 subscribers week. Hopefully I'm getting there. Um, my summer target may come a little bit early. And um, so 50,000 subscribers is on the cards. Um, I think the last time I checked, I was nearing 48 so another couple of thousand hopefully within the week um and i could make 50,000 subscribers so do let me know in the comment section below if i do hit that milestone if i'm lucky enough to do so before next saturday what would you like to see me do how would you like to see me celebrate um, either in a video or on the live chat let me know um hj london says elliot what is the latest post wedding information post wedding information well that they're obviously back from honeymoon um we definitely know that because we saw megan and harry in the carriage procession at troop in the color so we definitely know for a fact as you know i'm all about the facts that they definitely are back off honeymoon i've seen them in the flesh um unless they of course we're imposters 
Oh my goodness, I'm creating my own fake news again. Oh no, imposter Harry and Meghan. <gasps> fake news. Um, no, it was definitely the real Harry and Meghan. Um, back off honeymoon. We think they may possibly have had either part of their honeymoon or all of their honeymoon, we don't quite know. Possibly in Ireland because a Irish castle um, was kind of shut down, which was kind of, un well, locals were saying it was unusual for this castle to be shut down. Now, we don't know for sure if it was Harry and Meghan, so I will say that. Um, but, you know, it could be for any rich person that wanted to hire out um, a castle or maybe an organisation, a business that wanted to. But there was speculation and rumours that Harry and Meghan had gone there for at least part of their honeymoon. We don't know if that's true, so I can't really say. Then there was all the other rumours about Canada, um, and maybe some places in Africa, but I don't think it was anywhere hot because Harry, although he has quite fair and pale colouring anyway, um, and it's probably advisable for him to stay, to stay out of the sun, he didn't really seem to have any kind of um, tan at all. So I don't think he, I don't think they had been anywhere in the sun. So Ireland does kind of fit that profile. Um, so at the moment, think what you would like to think about that because there is nothing confirmed, I'm afraid. But that's all we know post-wedding. There is no other post-wedding information. Uh, lots of people saying congratulations on the 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, Sharon Nichols says, the Queen looked wonderful. Love her in blue. And I think I remember Jamie saying that she's worn blue twice twice in a row. Um, so yes, blue, one of her favourite colours. And she did look amazing and very happy, even though there was no Prince Philip. Um, I think a lot, I mean, I myself was probably expecting maybe to see Philip, but, you know, maybe he's still recovering from his hip. Maybe this is one of those occasions where he just felt like he needed to kind of enact his retirement and stay away. And possibly because Prince Andrew had taken over from him as Colonel, um, perhaps he wanted to kind of give him a, cr a fair crack at the whip, which I think is what he may have done. That may have been one of his thoughts in making that decision not to go. Um, Ari Massenberg says, I noticed the cameras did not really pay much attention to the third carriage carrying Countess Sophie and the York Princesses. No, they didn't. They did show them when they came out of the gates just to, to start with. Um, but no, there wasn't an over amount of attention. But they still got, you know, their balcony scene moment. All of the family were out on the balcony. Um, and again, another momentous moment for Meghan because it was her first outing on the balcony, her debut, her balcony debut. We almost expected her to start doing the Evita. I would have liked to have seen some Evita arms. Um, I jest, I really do. Um, but yes, it was her debut and she looked stunning. I quite liked her outfit. Her hat was um, kind of plain compared to Catherine's, but I think it suited her kind of off the shoulder outfit and that off the shoulder outfit causing lots of controversy. People saying she was dressed inappropriately. What do you think? I thought she looked lovely. And for those people saying she dressed inappropriately, I seem to remember Diana wearing lots of off-the-shoulder numbers and dresses. Who can remember when she um, when she had that little black cocktail dress after her uh, panorama interview? That was off the shoulder, I'm sure. I'm, I know. I never forget a frock. Um, so yes, let me know what you thought about Megan's outfit. But I did really, really like it. I thought it was quite suitable. And there's no rule to say you can't show a little bit of shoulder. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just going through a few comments. Of course, I can't read all the comments. I get so many now, which is really, really good. I'm not moaning. Um, you know, this chat room has grown and it's become, this chat has become a lot busier, which is really, really good. Uh, but I can't possibly read every single comment. So if I read yours, then uh, well done, you got through. But if it was really important, keep trying and I, I may eventually get to you. Um, hello to Jojo. Scott Goff says, was the flyby early or was the Queen late? Most of the crowd hadn't made it down the mile. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity to talk about Lord Guffrey, age 79, who was riding in the event. Uh, he is a close friend of the royal family and, and the Queen in particular. And 
um, yes, he fell. I mean, whether he was feeling poorly and fell or whether the horse played up a little bit and he fell, but either way, he fell off. Um, and he was, he, he actually held up a little bit of the perception or rather he slowed it down, um, which of course is completely understandable. No one's complaining about, about that. But before I knew that he had fallen off the horse, I did notice that the carriages had kind of slowed down um, almost to a stop at one point. And that must have been at the point when the accident happened and it kind of caused a little bit of a backlog. So the Queen and the royal, rest of the royal family procession down the Mall was actually late. Um, only by probably, you know, three, four minutes maybe, but it was late. It was it was slowed down. Um, completely understandably, of course. I mean, I think everybody, everybody wants Lord Guffrey to be, um, you know, attended to at the scene and dealt with appropriately, taken to hospital as the case was. But it did slow things down. So the Queen and the royal family were late back to the palace. And of course, the crowd coming down the Mall were also late being let in because they couldn't let the crowd in until Lord Guffrey and the royal family had cleared. So it all kind of set things back a little bit. Now, the aircraft would have already been airborne. And it's very doubtful that they got the message that to kind of slow down or maybe to do a few laps extra. Um, of course, the, the air display is finely um, practiced and there is a routine. So it would have been very hard and difficult to have changed it at that short notice. So the fly past was actually on time. Everything else was a little bit late. And in fact, actually one of my favorite moments was when the Royal Family almost missed the fly past. Um, the first aircraft were coming overhead and, and out they popped really, really quickly because otherwise they would have literally missed part of the fly pass. So the Queen was out first and kind of getting everybody out. And really the people were still kind of coming down the mall and gathering outside the palace or rather in front of the palace whilst the fly pass was going ahead. This, as far as I'm aware, hasn't happened previously. I think everything's normally very finely tuned, but when something happens, you know, that that's unplanned for, you know, you can plan for many eventualities, but Sometimes things happen, and this is one of those occasions. Um, by the way, while we're on air, if anyone who does hear any news about Lord Guthrie, then please let us all know, and I will, of course, um, broadcast it. Um, Nora says, did not realise the Queen had had eye surgery. She seems to be doing well. Yes, she had kind of secret um, very low key surgery. It was day surgery. And apparently she had it before the royal wedding. Um, and it was day surgery at the King Edward VII private hospital in London. So it was day surgery. She was very well looked after. I mean, of course, nobody knew, or rather if they did know, nobody was saying anything. Maybe there was a media embargo on it. I don't know. Um, but it came as quite a surprise or rather actually maybe the, I'll revise that, okay? It wasn't a total surprise because as soon as we knew the news that she'd had eye surgery on a cataract, everybody went, oh, I get it now because in the recent, uh, in the past few weeks, she'd been wearing dark glasses a lot and people have been saying, oh, she's wearing, wearing her dark glasses. But that kind of seemed okay because we've had quite a lot of sunny, bright weather. So we just thought, okay, maybe the Queen's just wearing her sunglasses like any normal person would. Um, but it was, I suppose, a little bit out of character for the Queen. But of course, when you have a cataract, you do have to avoid really bright sunlight for a certain period until your eye is well enough. So of course, that's what the Queen was doing. So it all made sense, but she had this surgery um, and it hasn't hampered any of her royal duties, any of her work. She's just kind of got on with it and done it and today she was out in the sunshine no dark glasses as some people were thinking that maybe the news was announced before trooping the color just in case she had to wear her dark glasses well she seemed to be perfectly fine um no glasses the eye seemed really good and i'm you know i, I hope she's had a really good recovery it seems like she has no reason to think anything else so um so good on you your majesty 
Sue Miller says 2,000 new subscribers today. Also 500,000 views today. Flying for 49,000 subscribers. I am. <laughs> and I'm as amazed as probably you are too. Um, certainly a royal event does drum up a lot of new subscribers and a lot of new interest. So it's really important on all of my videos, whenever you watch them, whatever time in the year, you know, give them a thumbs up leave me a little comment share them on social media and it's very important the new youtube level of importance which is up here is the notification bell i've heard rumors that subscribers are meaning less and less and less to a channel in terms of what youtube makes of it what youtube actually wants is for you to hit the notification bell because then it knows to notify you of every single video put out so it's very important that you hit the notification bell. So if you don't do anything else, just hit that bell because that's, a, that's the direction that YouTube is going. So if you don't want to miss any videos, please hit that bell. Um, hello to Diamond Diné and Christine Suckup, who says, I heard Megan was criticized for her off the shoulder dress. She was. And yes, in fact, I'm going to give all the haters a fan flap because they need it. Actually, it's really hot here, so this is actually really nice. I'm just gonna keep fanning myself with my fake news fan. Um, sometimes I do use it actually just to fan myself. Um, it's not just a fake news fan. It, it is rather practical too. Um, Diana says, the queen never smiled during the entire parade. I saw a smile, I did. I saw one. Um, I was disappointed. I was hoping to see her smile. She did. She did smile. Um, there were moments when I definitely saw her smile. But maybe she was experiencing a little bit of discomfort with her eye. We don't know. She wouldn't have said. Um, Jamie says, all we know about Lord Guthrie is that he fell on the left-hand side of his head and looked shocked lying on the ground. He was assisted by paramedics and surrounded by a wall of police. Yes, I did see a photo where he kind of landed on his head. His face kind of looked a bit squished into the um, gravel, I suppose, or rather tarmac. Um, yeah, a very nasty fall. And I really hope, you know, that he gets better. And he was indeed swiftly taken off by the ambulance. And Jamie's saying it happened just going around the Victoria Memorial. Um, poor Lord Guthrie. And in fact, actually, that would be when I noticed the carriage procession slow down. Although I didn't know why it was slowing down, but I did think it was rather unusual. Um, Vicky P says, I thought Megan looked great. People love to tear Megan down for some reason. There's always gonna be haters. Haters gonna hate is what they say, isn't it? I think that's the phrase, haters gonna hate. Um, but hey, I thought she looked lovely and I liked the off the shoulder dress. Um, you know, I was hoping to see maybe a few more Diana pieces of jewellery, but the whole look was very a simplistic look, and I think it worked. Um, Nora says, when will Prince Edward and Prince Harry ride behind the Queen, drawing Trooping the Colour? Um, when they're colonels. Simple as that. Uh, Sweet Serenity says, special thanks. Outstanding performance, handling so many questions. I do try my best. But if I don't get your question, then please don't hate. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Heather Black says, hello Elliot. I thought that I thought that the Duchess of Sussex, that's a tongue twister, um, looks absolutely gorgeous. She did. I have I absolutely agree with you. Bay, hello to Bay. Says, hello Elliot and everyone. Love the troop in the colour. Great coverage you did for all of us on the videos. Well, I tried. I mean, it was just me filming off my TV, but I hope that you liked the collection of clips. And of course, I filmed just the royal moments. So of course, if you want to go and see the actual um, parade drooping, you know, the the brass bands, the, you know, the horse manoeuvres, the, um, all, the all the fancy footwork they were doing, then I think you can go and find the full version online. I'm not quite sure where, but it is online somewhere. I think it was streamed. But my clips were just kind of the royal moments, which I think um, a lot of people who maybe haven't got the time to watch the full thing, maybe just want to get a little bit of a fix on, on the main royals. Well, you know, my videos were aimed at doing that. So that's why 
they are rather in a kind of clip format rather than the entire thing. Um, hello to Marilyn, who is from Houston, Texas. Um, Jojo says the Duchess of Sussex looked absolutely stunning. I agree. Um, Sweet Serenity says Camilla surprised me. You look decent. She always looks. I love her hats. I do love Camilla's hats. I have to say, she is very good with her hats. Stu Miller says, I noticed the York girls, Beatrice went first, then Eugenie. When Eugenie marries, will she take precedence over Beatrice and be presented first? Well, Beatrice and Eugenie were both in the same carriage. Um, it's possible that maybe Eugenie, when married, might get her own carriage, but there was, there's no kind of, you know, there won't be a changing of precedence just because they get married. Um, unless, of course, she was marrying somebody who had a higher precedence than than she's got now which of course would put her higher up but that's not the case so so no there shouldn't be any change maybe another shifting around of carriages in terms of she might get her own if jack brooks bank rides in the carriage with her he may not he may choose to go to the balcony over horse guards parade um in, ad in advance so he may choose not to even do the carriage possession we will have to wait and see for next year that will be one of the interesting things to look out for next year. Jamie says, Lord Guffey was behind the Queen, so he didn't slow her down. But the Queen watching the TV would have seen the crowd were late coming up and probably took as much time to let the crowd come up. Something slowed her down. Whether the commotion slowed her down, I did definitely 100% notice a slowdown in the carriage procession. Um, and it was round about the Victoria Memorial. I know that that's the point when they turn. So there is a certain degree of slowing down, but it, it was more noticeable than normal. It didn't seem like the normal. It seemed like there was something up and I didn't know what it was. So perhaps, you know, whether people thought there was a security breach and that kind of slowed things down, I don't know. But there was definitely a slowdown. Vicky P says, Bay, I had to download an app called BritBox just to watch it live, but it was worth it. There you go. Everyone get BritBox just in case something comes up that you might need to watch. Um, Angel says, I might have seen you today. Hi to Charles and to the royal family, especially the Queen. And you hope she's doing good. And you had your eyes done and know how it feels. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, my nan had her cataract done. Um, last week too so um, you know it's an issue very close to my family too and in fact I didn't manage to capture it on camera but just after Drooping the Colour had finished we have a local air show going on and I had a little fly past of my own because sure enough there was a big rumble in the sky and overhead right over my house came a fly past so I had my own royal fly past right after Drooping the Colour and I didn't have time to grab the camera and film it or else I would have probably included it in some kind of video but uh, that was pretty amazing which I really enjoyed. Um, Elani says Diana's first evening outfit with Charles remember the strapless black taffeta ball dress yes I do it was a bit oversized if I seem to remember um, it was indeed. Ari says, did you notice Megan's curtsy was a bit slow? I liked it. She looked very composed. Yes, of course, um, the royal family come out a bit like a prequel. They come out first to kind of greet the queen coming back. And as the queen went underneath, um, all the royal family bowed and curtsied. And we definitely saw Megan's curtsy that time because it was quite a profound curtsy. Uh, we definitely saw movement, unlike the last time when the camera angle was just appalling, basically. H.J. Hey, London says, I thought both the Duchess of Cambridge and Sussex looked fabulous. What style they both had, beautiful women. They are indeed. Um, in fact, I don't, I can't really call which outfit I preferred. I'm going to go with the Queen. The Queen always wins. Uh, the first Mrs. R says, I love Meghan's outfit and I thought it was fine, but it showed more skin than I recall seeing when the whole family's on the balcony. When Diana wore that little black dress, it was her um ldgif moment it was it was definitely her you know coming out look at me you know moment to kind of you know trump everything else that was going on at the time 
Happy New Year says, love your jacket, love your videos, thank you. I made a comment which started um, started Johnny Brook people are touchy. Um, well, hello and thank you for liking my jacket. It was a gift um, from one of you guys, so uh, thank you so much. By the way, I do still have um, the Amazon wish list. The link is in the description of this video, so if you want to go and check it out, then please do. There are lots of things which I will, of course, review for the channel, which reminds me, I had a little package come to my uh, P.O. box address, which I'll be opening in a little while, so don't let me forget the package, uh, because I haven't opened it. Well, I have opened it, I've opened the lid, but I haven't looked inside. Look, it's it's completely untouched. I haven't, I haven't opened it at all. I've only just opened the tops to make it easy for me now to dig in and have a look. Um, I know who it's from because the person messaged me to say, have I received it? But I don't know what's inside. I haven't looked. So uh, please join me in a little while when I'll be opening it. I also had a letter uh, to my PO box address, which I'll be opening too. I think it's a card and I'll be looking. Actually, I got that wrong. I know who the letter is from. I don't know who the parcel's from. So hopefully there's some kind of gift card inside. So I'll be able to tell. So don't let me forget because I probably will forget if I carry on talking. But I've ha I've had it for a week and I've been really good and I haven't actually peaked. Um, OAM Fanny says, hello, Elliot. Hi, everyone. The Royals are surely getting some positive attention. Yes, they are, which is very, very good. Um, of course, I always try to be very positive on my channel. Shining Star says, I keep seeing more reports. Meghan and Harry were laughing at Lord Guthrie. I very much doubt it. Um, I personally cannot see it being true, but it's being spread through social media. Can you comment? I think it's a load of, where's my fan? It's a load of fake news. I'm calling it as fake news. I mean, my goodness, I have seen so much fake news about Camilla and the Queen having a feud. I mean, oh my goodness, it's just completely ludicrous. I actually went to one of these stupid fake news channels um, and looked at what they were saying. It's all just a complete load of garbage complete rubbish um it's ludicrous it's sensationalist it's just put there to get views and i just don't know why people click on it it's just ridiculous um did camilla and the queen look like they had any beef when they were on a recent engagement for the um medical detection dogs this week no i don't think so that does not look like people who are having some kind of major beef um so do not believe everything you read or see unless of course it's from this channel uh, Jamie is laughing at the fake news. Uh, Shining Star says, um, Kate wears off the shoulder all the time, and so has the Queen in the past. Um, HJ London says, I want to ask all subscribers this question. Are you recommending Royal Reviewer channel? If and when you make a comment on other channels, please do spread the word. Olivia Hooley, or is that Hooley? Hooley? says okay we'll do that for you thank you so much a big thumbs up to you from me marilyn says elliot even though there hasn't been any fake news you can give us a fake news fan flap well i've already given you one because there was fake news um diamond janae says it still does not notify perhaps once and then i know to check, to check you out okay if the youtube notification system isn't notifying you of my videos i do upload daily at least, sometimes multiple times daily. It's not uncommon for me to post three, sometimes four videos a day, depending on how much is going on and how much free time I've got. Because of course, for those of you who don't know, I do still have a full-time job. So this is just like a, a hobby on the side, really. Um, so I do upload multiple times a day, usually. So if, if you aren't being notified, please come to the channel and check what's there. I also post, you know, little comments and things in the community section of the channel. So do go and check that. Um, Jamie says, I don't watch any other videos apart from mine. Thank you so much. Um, and Sweet Serenity says, haters be gone. I vanish you off to the Tower of London. Uh, the first bizarre says, I've only seen Catherine in it once on a foreign trip. The Queen wore them when she was much younger but not on the balcony. I don't mind, but I can't see why some people freaked out. I don't know why they freaked out. I mean, 
it's just an excuse to pick on Megan, I think, which is not terribly good. Um, and yes, Lord Guffrey was taken to the hospital. He was hurt. Hater London says, thank you for the fan flap to all the haters. What is their problem? I have no idea. Um, some of the comments I read elsewhere were so nasty, even worse than that. Haters gonna hate. Sweet Serenity says, the Duchess of Sussex looked lovely. She did indeed. Um, Diamond Danae says, usually we get to see Troop in the colour, but the news was on about the G7. How boring. Okay, the G7 is going to get a fan flap because they are boring, kind of. Um, well, next, next to Troop in the colour, they're boring. Um, so these news channels need to show Troop in the colour and not the G7. And that's my command, my, my royal command of the Duke of Shropshire. Um, M thinks all the women on the balcony looked chic. They did indeed. Um, and yes, I saw huge smiles from the Queen during the flybys. Um, lots of people saying thank you. They love the clips. Uh, Christine says, I thought Lady Louise's hair looked darker today. Anyone else think so? I, I don't necessarily think darker. I think she just looked more grown up. Uh, the outfit was very young lady, um, almost, you know, young lady going into adults, even though she's not an adult yet. Um, she looked very grown up, very much more mature. And she looked like um, she's taking it in her stride. She looked very easy and relaxed and comfortable with everything. And um, I think she will be a really good asset to the royal family in the future too, as are Princess Beatrice and Eugenie. And that is on my list to talk about later, but um, we will talk about the, their future roles a little bit later. Um, nothing official on it, but we will we will see. Um, I've just had a, whoops, where's it gone? Um, a donation, a super chat donation from Tiffany Hoffman. Um, who says the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was riding with the Duke of Kent. Who is the Duke of Kent? The Queen's cousin. And of course, he was filling in a little bit for Prince Philip. He was sat next to the Queen on the dais where, while she was watching the um, the Troop in the Colour performance or set, uh, parade, shall I say. Um, so if you're wondering who that was, it wasn't the Duke. It was the Duke of Kent who was sat next to her. So good question. Okay, I'm just finding a question. Um, Bay says, did you all notice Her Majesty the Queen looked at the children and smiled? I think she's so proud of them. It must be lovely to have literally, you know, all of your um, descendants really on that balcony kind of spread out. Um, it looked really, really lovely. And eventually we'll get to see Prince Louis there as well, maybe in a couple of years. But Princess Charlotte was there, George was there. The children were having a really good time. I think we're going to talk about the children. Let's talk about the children now. Uh, the children were a little bit cheeky, a little bit naughty, shall we say. Uh, but it was very fun to watch them. And of course, Savannah Phillips was kind of taking George and covering his mouth, saying, him, telling him to shush because he was making too much noise. The kids were enjoying, you know, all of the um, all of the, the music, and they were they were watching the fly past. Everyone looked like they were having a really good time, and all in front of the Queen. Um, and I'm sure the Queen noticed, but she wasn't going to say anything. But she'll probably say something when they went back into the into the room because um, it was quite funny. It was just a really funny moment. But I think they they got away with it because they were cute, and it did look really really good. So let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, Jamie says, I'm sure the Queen would have felt lonely sitting in the carriage alone. She didn't wave as much, but didn't smile as much, but still did both. I think her confidence is not a bit without Philip. It must be lonely. I mean, he sat next to her, you know, all those years. It must be lonely. Um, what can you say? I mean, the, she could have had the Duke of Kent sat next to her, but then that, you know, she might not have wanted to look like she was kind of, I suppose, you know, replacing Philip. I mean, it wouldn't have come across that way, but, you know, visually, 
it would have looked like she'd just put somebody else in the place. She could have gone away maybe having Charles, um, but I think perhaps the right decision was taken to have her on her own and then the Duke of Kent joining her at the parade ground. Um, OEM says, I was so grateful for your narrated video. I find myself uh, defending you on the reviewer. Are you planning to keep talking indefinitely? Um, yes, I carry on. I plan to carry on doing all my videos and my live chats indefinitely. Dawn says, I was very disappointed to not see Prince Philip at least come out on the balcony. After all, it is his wife's birthday celebration. Well, of course, he would have, he would have celebrated her private birthday back in April. Um, but he was probably watching on telly, probably with his feet up and a, a well-deserved mug of tea or maybe something stronger. Um, Angel noticed her smiling. Sue Miller says Lady Louise looked beautiful too. Um, and I'm not sure of the name of the brooch that, that the Queen was wearing today. Um, it's it's not one of her usual day wear brooches, um, and I, I don't think I've seen it for a while at least. I'm, I can't remember the last time I saw it, uh, but I'm not quite sure of the name. But I will look out for that, and once I find out what it is, I'll I'll let you know maybe on the community section. Unless of course someone's really good at googling or knows now, um, and I'll just say what it is. I'll read it out. There are so many jewels. I mean, let's not forget. You know, who would have guessed that the tiara that Meghan loaned off the queen would have come out nobody in fact i don't i didn't even see that on the radar at all for anyone even the royal jewelry experts that are out there did not even foresee that tiara being used the queen mary diamond bandeau there is so many jewels in the royal family that collection that we probably haven't seen or don't even know about um so so yes there's so much that they can all draw on and I think it's really lovely to see different pieces all the time. Now, Jamie says, I know the part you're talking about. I remember seeing a close up of the Queen's carriage and it was chugging along. A woman was arrested for throwing something at the guardsman. That could have been it. Ah, it could have been. Was it round about the, that spot? Because I think it was roughly round about the Victoria Memorial spot. So it could have been that. Of course, you know, when we're watching, we only see um, what's shown. Jojo says, I am sure the fake uh, news will be pushed. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're sure the fake news will be that Megan pushed Lord Guthrie off his horse? Oh, <gasps> my goodness. Where's my fan? Oh, that deserves a double flap. Oh, I'm double flapping that one. I'm coming out in hives. Oh, I need fanning. Uh, Sweet Trinity says, the royal family looked so relaxed. They did indeed. And everyone, including Lillian Rose, wishing Lord Guthrie a speedy recovery. Um, and Lillian Rose says, I look uh, smashing. Well, thank you so much. Marilyn says, Jojo, you're right. Haters will blame Meghan Markle for pushing Lord Guthrie off his horse. I'm sure they will. Um, I wouldn't put it past them. Let's put it that way. Um, M says, love your package reveals. Malcolm says, what do you think about the Queen and Duchess of Sussex travelling next week? Um, well, I mean, I'm really looking forward next week, of course, to um, Meghan joining the Queen. Prince Harry won't be joining. Uh, Meghan will. So I'm looking forward to that immensely. Of course, it's in Chester. So a few engagements in Chester. Meghan will be learning how to do an away day, as the royals call it, um, from the expert at a away days, the Queen. You couldn't ask for a better instructor, could you? I mean, it's the Queen. Angel thinks if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I agree. Shining Star says the fake news was on the Daily Mail. Isn't it always? Which is why I like to review them so often. People say, why, it, why do you review that newspaper? And I keep thinking and saying, well, it's because there's lots to review. There's always something to correct or some kind of fake news that they're putting out there that needs talking about. Um, so it's a really good source 
for article review and critiques, which is why I use them. Uh, Sweet Serenity loves my fake news fan. Thank you. Uh, and yes, please hit the like button or the thumbs up. Um, okay, W. Um, Bob Kavir says, what is the royal rule of being seated properly? Can a duchess or queen consort cross their legs at the knee? I know what you're on about because lots of people were saying that Camilla was sat incorrectly during her engagement with the queen at the medical detection docks. Well, there isn't a rule. There isn't a written down rule about how to sit. There is, however, um, I suppose it's more etiquette of how to sit. And the old fashioned way of sitting is to kind of slant your legs and do the duchess slant. Now, Catherine, when she sits pretty much all the time, and I think somebody mentioned one occasion when she didn't, but pretty much all the time, she does kind of adopt this classic etiquette based duchess slant, which is why it's been sort of nicknamed the duchess slant. Um, the queen also more often than not does it, but it's not a rule. You don't have to. Um, and let's not, let's not forget that Camilla has been sitting a certain way for many, many, many years before she joined the royal family. So I'm sure it's probably quite natural to just sit how she would naturally. Um, I think it's only really a problem if you can, you know, let me be vulgar for a moment. The reason why they do the Dutch land is so that you can't see up the skirt. Um, you know, celebrities like Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, if they would have adopted the Duchess slant in certain situations or, you know, adopted the correct way to get out of a car, which is the kind of swivel and then legs together and up, um, they wouldn't have had some of those little upskirt, upskirt photographs that the paparazzis managed to get. So the Duchess slant does have a practicality, but it's not a problem if you don't, unless, of course, you're wearing some kind of clothing where somebody could get an inopportune photo of the skirt, which would not be good. So do excuse me for being vulgar for a moment, but that is the reason why it's etiquette to have the Duchess slant, but it's not a rule. They don't have to do it. Um, so I hope that kind of explains it a little bit, um, but please forgive the, the vulgarity of the situation. Uh, Marilyn says, everyone, please give the live chat a big thumbs up. We have 148 people in the chat room now. Well, hello to you, 148 people. Melody loved the pictures of the children on the balcony. I did too. They looked, uh, they did look a rambunctious bunch. They really did. Um, Eleni says, I wish people would not compare Catherine to Megan. That is true too. HJ London says, when I watch a channel, which obviously is pres presenting garbage, I always recommend Royal Reviewer and clearly say there is no gossip and that the information I share is educational. Well, it is, I try. Um, I, I literally can't put out fake news. I, I just couldn't, even if I thought it was gonna get me tons more views. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, I will never, ever, ever put out fake news intentionally. If I make a mistake or I get something wrong, I will, of course, issue a, cor a correction. Um, I have no problem issuing corrections if something turns out not to be true. Um, I've got no problem with turning around and saying, look, you know, this this is, has changed. We now know that this is the fact. We thought such and such was the fact, but now we know that this is a fact. If there is a development, if a story is developing, I will always update you guys and correct you guys and always endeavour to put out what is true and accurate because that's what I want to watch. If I was looking at other people's channels, that's what I would want to watch too. Um, Shining Star says, do I think haters are against Megan today? I think they're against her most days. If, if, if you're a hater, you're a hater. Keontae Kent says, I've been working for you, but our channel is about positive comments, not profanity or defaming one's character, please. 
thank you for dealing with haters. Um, it's a very difficult, well, thank you for promoting the channel, by the way. Um, but it's a very difficult balance to strike when I'm a big believer in freedom of choice. And I've spoken about this before, freedom of choice, freedom of speech, um, and that people should be able to express their opinions publicly, even if they are opinions that we don't believe in ourselves. Even if it's an opinion I don't believe in, um, even if it's something that I would never say. So I kind of tend not to take down comments um, unless, of course, they are really, really hateful comments against an individual on the channel. Um, but I'm certainly big enough to take any comments aimed at me. Um, and I think people should be able to express their view, whatever that view is. And you know, there is a comment section, and it's it's there for you to leave your comment. I don't believe in censoring people, unless, of course, it's you know a sustained hate attack against somebody and they're being really really hateful then i will block the person i will block them from commenting on the channel um if they show continued abuse i don't mind if somebody just has an opinion they say it once and they move on that's okay um but if they keep drumming on and on and on and on, and on if they keep putting the same copy and paste hate comment in every single video of that particular royal then you know, I will delete that comment and I will block them from posting comments because they aren't using the comment section in the appropriate way. They aren't meeting the YouTube guidelines on how to post comments. But in terms of freedom of speech, you can say what you want on this channel. I'm open to freedom of speech. I say what I want. And you have to expect that other people are going to have their opinions and say what they think and feel. So, so yeah, unfortunately, if you read a hate comment and you don't like it, you know, you can you can comment back. Sometimes you have to let people air their views so that you get a chance to comment back to them, um, hopefully in a non-abusive way, obviously. But, you know, you get your chance to comment back to them and correct them. So sometimes having people open and air their views in public, even if it's a view that we don't like, is a good thing. So just bear that in mind. Sweet Trinity says, aha, William's expression. Can't wait to see the, the children's antics for sure. I'm sure he remembers feeling the same when he was young, uh, wanting to play up with his brother on the balcony and cousins as well. Um, Angel says, where is the baby Prince Louis at? Well, he will be at home, probably at Kensington Palace uh, with the nanny. He's definitely too young to bring out on the balcony. We'll perhaps see him in a couple of years, maybe two years, when he's kind of around about three, I would say. That's usually the age when they debut the children on the balcony for the first time. Uh, Sharon says, Princess Charlotte steals the show every time. She knows how to play for the crowd. She does indeed. Uh, she's a little pro, I think. Heather Black says, I don't think the Duke of Cambridge liked it when Prince George's mouth was covered up. I think it was a very pl playful savannah, <laughs> being like an older cousin type to George. And um, yeah, just kind of trying to control him in a kind of, you know, slightly child-esque mothering way. And it just came across as funny, I have to say. It was quite amusing. James Med 4 says, Prince William did so well accompanying the Queen at the garden party. He did. And Jamie says, it's the guard's badge brooch. She wears it for every troop in the colour and nowhere else. HA London says, you cannot stop doing these videos. They are the best. You keep us so well informed about all things royal. Hollywood knocks. Don't answer. If, if Hollywood knocks, don't answer your door. Uh, I've got Hollywood on the brain because the Queen's going to be at Hollywood um, in the coming weeks because it's nearly Hollywood week, which will be another big week where she goes to scotland and does um another garden party and more investitures um so look out for hollywood week but if hollywood is calling um i also don't mind that too hello to t french in seattle it's your first time chatting um yes the queen did sit alone in the carriage um and yes megan did walk walk down the church alone too until she met um 
Prince Charles, of course. Um, Vinnie Blair says, Camilla always crosses her legs at the knee. Yes, Catherine has done it too. The Queen doesn't slant, but she crosses at the ankle. As long as your kind of your thighs are closed, that kind of counts as etiquette, I think. As long as bear the basic rule in mind, if a photographer could get an unflattering photograph of you, um, the way you're sat, then you're probably not sat correctly. That's the kind of rule of thumb, I think. That's the gold standard. Jamie says, maybe they should teach Philip the Duchess slant so we don't get to see his crown jewels. Braemar games in it. Oh, the Braemar games. Okay. Oh, no, I'm hiding my face. The embarrassment of it all. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Prince Philip had an upkilt shot taken of him. And let's just say, if you have seen the photograph, it's one of those photographs, one of those things that once seen can never be unseen. So I would advise if you are of um, a particular nature that you, yeah, if you're of that kind of a nature, don't go looking for the photograph. Don't hit Google. Because once seen, you've been warned. You've been warned. It cannot be unseen. Okay? Bear that in mind. That's all I'm saying. Penny Blair says, those girls you named wanted the upskirt shots. That's how they made their name. That and sex tapes. Oh, my goodness, those tapes. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting individuals, a lot of them. Olivia Hewley says, please invite friends to subscribe to this channel. Please do. Um, Sue Miller says, you are probably going to get to 49,000 before the end of the chat tonight. <gasps> really? Has it, has it gone up that much? My goodness. Wow. Um, Suzanne says, I'm so proud of you for, for providing reliable, true and accurate information. Thank you. That, that is my aim. Um, the first Mrs. R says, but you take the time to do enough fact checking that you um, that I don't have to make a, a correction. I don't. I very, very rarely have to make corrections in, in anything, really. Uh, thank you for that. And I'll be mentioning your channel in the comments elsewhere. Thank you so much. Um, it really does help if you help spread the videos across the internet and share them with your friends and people and groups and people that you think might like them. Um, MSMB 2012 says, I noticed when Camilla was standing behind the Queen, it made it difficult to see since she was wearing a very similar colour. Don't they coordinate um, so Her Majesty stands out? Um, I don't believe they get memos on, on colour themes because, you know, every year we see an array of colours and sometimes it just happens that, you know, they wear a similar colour. Um, that's just the look of the draw. But no, I, I certainly don't think they are told what to wear. Although I think there was a degree of... Um, colour coordinating with the wedding photographs because Doria's outfit made sense uh, and the Queen's outfit made sense in relation to the room they were in um, for the photographs. So I think, you know, with special occasions like the wedding, there may have been some coordinations. Countess Bavaria says, what about racism towards a member of our royal family? Um, any racism is dealt with as any other case of racism is. Um, any information is handed to the police and it gets investigated. So providing that there is enough evidence for the police to do something about it, then they will if an individual is known to have made some kind of racial, you know, hate comment or sent something through the post or done something racially or in court, indeed criminally, um, that will be dealt with as per it would be with anyone else. Donna says, I've been a royalist my whole life. It's lovely hanging out with people who are mostly too, who are mostly royalist too. Awesome. Uh, it is indeed. And it's um, one of my aims in doing this channel was to create 
a community of people that had a shared interest. Um, yes, it's a, it's, I suppose it's a, it's a niche interest. Of course, you know, the Royal Family Channel's got 3.4 million subscribers. So, you know, it's still quite a big niche, but you know, it, it's not like um, some of the channels out there with gaming and that kind of thing that has like a huge audience. I mean, lots of people have interest in the Royal Family, but I don't think a lot of people necessarily know that you can find this type of content on YouTube. So that's another reason why it's really, really good to spread the word on all of your other social media channels so that people know that they can access this type of content on YouTube, that it is there, it is available, and you know people like me are making it. In fact, I don't really know any other person on YouTube who is like me doing it. I mean, there's all these people hiding behind robot voices and sensationalism and fake news, but I don't think, to my knowledge, there is anybody making videos like I do for you um, and using me, using my voice, using my face, doing weekly chats. I, do, I, do, I just don't think that I'm aware of there is anyone doing that in this field. Um, Sweet Serenity says, thank you for allowing people to have the right to express themselves. Of course, not hate or abuse. Yes, respect everyone. As a, a very wise woman once said, Express yourself, don't repress yourself. Um, OAM Faini says, I believe the etiquette for sitting and eating are just British, born in a colonised island, and as a child taught to eat with a knife and fork, keep elbows off the table and sit with, sit with crossed ankles. Yes, it, it's definitely etiquette. It's, um, it's not a rule. There are no rules. It is just, just etiquette. Um, Donna says, what do you all think of Charles's speech the other day? I was surprised and happy to hear that one. Well, of course, we know that he has been championing his environmental issues um, all the way since since the 70s, since he started um, having a voice, being part, uh, being a, a working member of the royal family. He's always championed these causes. And I think he's not going to stop. Even as king, I think he's still going to you know, show which way he's thinking with the, you know, the charities and that he supports the engagements he undertakes the patronages he takes on he's still going to put forward that point of view maybe even make similar type of messages and of course people you know thought of him as being a bit of a crackpot out of touch at the, at the time in the 70s but of course everything he's spoken about has actually come true he's been proven right on so much um so i think it's time people kind of you know stop ridiculing and actually listen to Prince Charles on these issues. So I'm really, really glad that he did that and he did speak out um, very eloquently. And of course that is his area of interest. So I'm really, really glad that he made that video. Um, and yes, Shining Star, there are some, some hateful comments towards Meghan Markle out there, um, but you know, that's, our opportunity to to kind of go back to them and you know challenge them not in an abusive way back to them but you know we can be challenging towards the haters um and you know hopefully it will show them to be the sort of people that they are which is not very nice people um elani says no you can't go to hollywood the motherland needs you um i would like to i would like to visit la though it would be very 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 cool um, Nora says, even though I am new to the channel like this, I really enjoy your program. There are enough negatives. You are a positive. Thank you. Um, Alini is Googling from Googling Prince Philip. No, don't Google it. Do not Google it. Once you've seen it, it cannot be unseen. Jamie says, Google that pic. <laughs> you get to see the origins of Prince Charles. <laughs> no, don't Google that picture. It's horrendous. Don't. Jeff Gosney says, hi, Elliot. Thanks for solving the mystery about the courier bracelet Megan wore at the wedding. Yes. Cartier bracelet. Yes. Um, I did a video on all of her royal jewels that she wore. Um, you think Charles did the same for Catherine? Yes, he did buy Catherine a suite of jewels. And I think probably the Cartier set may have been a gift from Charles too for Megan.
Um, Angel says, I hope Meghan and Harry have a baby pretty soon. I think they will. I'm I'm expecting a royal baby from them by the end of next year. That's my prediction. By the end of next year, I think we will see a new royal baby. Vinnie Blair says, wasn't your aim to reach 50,000 by Christmas? Was it 100,000 by Christmas? You now need new dolls. Originally, it was 50,000 by Christmas, but then as it seemed to be getting a lot quicker, I, I changed it to 50,000 by summer and then 100,000 by Christmas. But even though it's kind of summer now, I mean, I always think of summer as kind of July and August, but I'm almost at 50 early for summer. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping for 100,000 by Christmas, then I can get my silver plaque and I can have my silver YouTube reward plaque on this on the side table which will be very very good um Ari Massenberg says I could not help myself I saw the up kilt of Prince Philip I'm not shocked completely normal he's no Kim Kardashian oh <gasps> my goodness um don't look at that photo <laughs> Um, Vicky P. Oh, hang on. Let me go back a bit. Vinnie Blair says, I thought the Countess meant racism on your channel. Um, is that what you meant? I don't know. Um, again, it's a question of freedom of speech. Some people hold racist views. Um, if you censor those views, what you're actually doing is driving it underground. And you're not allowing that person the opportunity to have their views challenged i know it might seem weird you know people are probably thinking well just get rid of the comments just get rid of the comments but it allows that person to be challenged and i think that is a far better way of dealing with racist people is having them challenged having their views their points of views thrown back at them because the only way you're going to actually make a difference and change racism is if these people are challenged intellectually if they are actually pulled up on their views and educated um because that's what it is it's it's a lack of understanding and education about different type of people these people have probably not been exposed to other cultures other religions other ways of life and they are a product of their environment. They are a product of their upbringing. How, you know, like I say, their families, their family history. They, you know, they may have gone through a lot of problems themselves and they are taking it out on people that are different to them. And if you get rid of those comments, if you just delete them, if you stop them from commenting, you're not doing them any favors and you're not doing the wider issue of tackling racism any favors either these people need to be challenged so i would urge you if you see people making these comments on the channel challenge them in a non-abusive non-threatening way do it in an intellectual way and just pull them up i mean they they probably won't know what to say they'll probably be completely shocked flabbergasted and who knows what you've said your your comment may strike a chord and we may stamp out, you know, even if we just stamp out one racist person, one, one, even if we change one person's viewpoint or allow somebody to, to, to look at a different way of thinking or to think of something in a different way, then it's worth it. So think of it that way and maybe it'll make a lot more sense. Uh, Vicky P says, I thought the Queen and the future Queens were dressed the same because they will be Queen. No, there is no fashion fashion rule. They don't have to dress in a particular way or colour for an engagement. Um, you know, light drooping the colour, it's it's what, whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever you want to wear. Sharon Nichols says, oh my God, you are right. Definitely can't unsee that picture of Prince Philip. You can't. I warned you not to look. Um, Ari Massenburg says, that's true. I can't unsee it either. Don't look. I told you. Um, Soil says, I so enjoy your chats and information you provide. You have wonderful personality. 
I would in a flash adopt you as my kiddo. Your parents have a wonderful child. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. I will blow you a kiss mwah, to everybody. Mwah. Um, MSNB 2012 says, where else can you discuss royal etiquette and Madonna other than royal reviewer on YouTube? <gasps> you got my quote. <laughs> you got me. Um, Jojo says, there is no one like you. You're unique and we love you for it. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, Scott Goff, don't forget the package. Okay, I'm going to take a little sip of my drink because I've been talking for a while. Um, and I know I do tend to ramble on a little bit sometimes. I'm probably very behind on all the comments, I know. But I had a week off last week. I enjoyed my week off, for those of you who are wondering. Um, I did go out, um, so it was really lovely to, to take a little bit of time off. And But I did miss you guys. I missed doing the live chat. So it's really nice to be back, so I'm probably a little bit chatty. Just replenishing my fluids. Now, let's start with the envelope, or envelope, if you're posh. Um, so it's, it was sent to my P.O. box, and let's see what it is. Okay. Oh, oh, it's Harry and Meghan. Look. Okay, can you see? Wow look it's a wedding card it says happy harry not happy harry and megan congratulations 19th of may 2019 am i now receiving royal post um okay to celebrate the wedding of harry and megan can you see if i just tilt it um hope you like this card from the mad jigger lady Annoyed royal family will not help. Ha ha. Love from Irene. It's Irene who comments on most of my videos. Thank you so much, Irene. I love it. Um, and I'm going to put this card. It's actually a moon pig card. Um, it's called The Bee's Knees. And it's designed by Samantha Molly. M-O-L-L-E-Y. And I'm going to put it, hopefully where you can all see it, um, right here. Let's make sure it's there. Can you all see it? Yes. I'm going to leave it there um, in front of my royal bear with his flags because, of course, it's Trooping the Colour special. So thank you so, so much to Irene for the card. Now, what about this bad boy? <laughs> OK, now it's full of all this of all this stuff. Um, little kind of noodles, are they called? Little noodles. Polystyrene noodles. Um, there is a... Informate. Now, I'm not going to look at that because this is probably telling me what it is. Um, so I'm going to leave that for a moment. And I'm going to maybe read the card because there's a little card here for us. So let's read the card uh, because I want to find out who it's from. Whatever it is that's in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, a royal gift. Look. Ooh, can you all see? A royal gift. Uh, a royal gift for you. That's me. Um, hi, Elliot. I just wanted to send you this little gift to say how much I love your Royal Reviewer channel. P.S. I was the one who sent you the pin that didn't have the card that you opened on April 28th on your Talk of the Crown. Enjoy. Love, Kimberly from Alberta in Canada. Oh, you sent the pin. Thank you so much. I did love the pin, and I, I've got that on my um, waistcoat. Um, which I, I, I keep on my waistcoat. So thank you so much for the pin, and thank you in advance for whatever is in the box. Um, I'm sure it's really, really lovely. So I'm going to put this... Oh, I'll put that there. A little stick. No, I'll have to go there for now. Uh, you probably can't see it on screen. But let's have a, a dig deep. Let's dig deep in the box and see what there is. Lots of noodles. Um, I'm having a rummage. I'm going to have noodles everywhere. Okay, I'm pulling something. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, okay. And um, let's put the box down for a second. <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, any guesses? It's in the bubble wrap. Let's just pop. For those of you into S ASMR. Oh, 
Oh, oh, that felt good. Okay. And if you want to see a video of me popping the um, the bubbles, let me know. I'll keep the bubble wrap. Um, oh, it's squeaking now. Oh, oh, this is ASMR. -y. Okay. Right. What is it? Oh, it's from the actual palace shop. It's from the Buckingham Palace shop. Oh my god. Right. Harry and Meghan. Traditional all butter shortbread biscuits from the palace. My goodness, look. Wow. Okay, how to open this? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I will definitely be enjoying those with a cup of tea. In fact, I still haven't made my tea video. I was going to make a video with the loose teas that I was gifted, and I, I still haven't forgot about it. I just haven't had time. So I will definitely do a video with the royal tea and tasting some royal treats. If I hold it back, maybe you can see better. I know the light is quite shiny on it. Um, so thank you so much. If I hold it like that, maybe you can see. Thank you so much. Um, celebrate the royal wedding with, or celebrate rather, the royal wedding with these classic melt-in-the-mouth shortbread rounds. Um, wow. From the Royal Collection Trust. I love them. Thank you so much. I'm going to put them on my little table over here. Which you probably can't see, but there we go. Right, what's next from the box? Okay, hang on. Let's dig deep. Okay. Right, I can see this is the whoop, squeaked. The last and final item. Let's have a look. Oh, what is this? More bubble wrap. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's another Harry and Meghan. Look, it's a Harry and Meghan. Um, what is this? It is a mug. I can see on the label it says mug. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I don't want to drop this. Okay. Oh, look at the packaging. Okay, can you see? Look, there's a little card. Wow. Okay, the card says Harry and Meghan, um, commissioned exclusively by Buckingham Palace. This English fine bone china is entirely made by hand in England using traditional methods unchanged for 250 years. This official commemorative china celebrates the marriage of Prince Harry and Ms. Meghan Markle on the 19th of May 2018 at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. The exclusive design shows a monogram surmounted by the coronet of Prince Harry and tied together with white ribbons. The decorative borders are inspired by the mid 13th century um, Gilbertus Gilbertus doors at St George's Chapel, and that's spelled G I L E B E R T U S. There you go. Um, wow. Let's have a little peek. Okay, very carefully. Oh, wow. It actually matches one of the tea towels I was given by Marilyn. Look. Wow. I have got some amazing fans. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look. Oh, look inside. Look at the bow. Look. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It says on the inside, to celebrate the marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, and the um, the white bow, I don't know if you can see, the white bow here is slightly embossed, so it's slightly raised. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to balance it so it gets knocked off. I'm going to have to put it over here behind me. Um, wow. Thank you so, 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 so much. Now, I'm going to skip down a load of the comments because um, I know I'm very far behind and I want to read some of your comments in response to the opening. So let's have a look. Um, Donna Carson thought it was a candle. Um, Donna says, wow, it's cookies. 
it was indeed. Uh, Jamie says, oh, I love the Royal Collection shortbread biscuits. I remember munching um, and threw two packs of them at the Windsor uh, Castle Shop in the Quadrangle. Wow. Uh, nice to know they're good. Okay, I've met 49,000 subscribers. Yay. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, Sue Miller has just informed me. Thank you. Um, Diamond Denae says, almost missed the mug. Congrats. Sweet Serenity says, lovely gifts. Um, and yes, I am sure that, that the Queen did send them to me. In fact, I'm sure the Queen hand-packed them. Look, I can smell. I can smell Jean and Dubonnet. The Queen definitely packed them. Um, Lillian Rowan says, beautiful design from the Palace shop. Christine says, I love the mug. Vicky P says, lovely. Frazzled Halo says, the mug is beautiful. H.O. London says, beautiful gifts. Glassery says, very snazzy mug. Um, Holly says, oh my God, I love your uniform. Thank you so much. Donna says, I love the coffee cup. So nice. Someone sent it to you. It's lovely. F yes, thank you so, 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 so much. Um, Aileen Rosenberg says, congratulations on 49,000 subscribers. You are wonderful. And Diamond Denae says, Elliot, as my um, move is still ongoing, I have so many pieces I have to give away. Do you? <laughs> what are you giving away? <laughs> I'm a magpie. Wow, so thank you so, so, so much. And I love doing these unboxings and openings, but whether I make um, a separate individual video or whether I do them as part of the live chat, I really do love, um, you know, opening these things that are either sent to the PO box address or things that are sent on the Amazon wish list because everything that's on the wish list is something that I could use um, either for the channel um, or I could open that's fun to show you guys or something to sample. Um, I think I put some some uh, royal themed um, food hampers on the wish list, which would be amazing to do a kind of, I know these mukbang videos are very popular these days, but um, there's no point in just doing a regular mukbang, mukbang. Of course, I want to do a royal themed mukbang, maybe with, you know, produce that has the royal warrant on or from these, these hampers that I found on, on Amazon. So do go and take a look at the Amazon wish list. And, um, you know, if you do want to contribute to the channel and, you know, give me something to unbox um, for you guys to review, to try, to sample, there's all kinds of different weird and wonderful things on the wish list. Some of them are not very expensive at all. Um, some of them, some of them are, it's, you know, it's, it's a wish list. It's what, somebody would wish to have somebody what what you might wish to have for your channel um so do go take a look there are some some pretty interesting things things that i've already reviewed lots of things that people have sent me on there um and it's just it's well worth it because um you know sometimes it's very hard to get things to review for the channel um when you're not making a terrible amount of money from from things it helps it helps the channel to grow um, so thank you to everyone who has contributed from the wish list or sending to the PO box address. It really means a lot. I'm very appreciative and grateful to you. So thank you Mwah! to you all. Um, Jamie says, yeah, the ASMR, there are also those people who find that noise extremely irritating. Oh no, I hope you didn't like, I hope you, you, you did like the popping. Um, hello to Ingrid. I'm just I'm just backtracking on some of the comments I I fast forwarded. Uh, Donna says you don't ramble on. Um, hey, so London says stand up to racists. They can be vile. Wow, okay. I'm uh, going back down to the bottom. Hey, Shay London says, Elliot, thank you for all your videos the past three weeks. Each was very informative and helpful. You are most welcome. Dawn says, now I'm really jealous. Beautiful gifts. They were indeed. I'm I'm so lucky to have such fantastic fans and viewers and friends. Friends, actually. Um, Marilyn says, a royal themed mukbang would be awesome. It would. I, I, I'd probably be just stuffing my face. 
I'm not quite sure how much talking I get done. Judy Daw says, new subscriber from Newfoundland, Canada. You are charming. Love the dresses. All of them. Oh, yes, Elizabeth the Queen smiled lots today. I saw lots of smiles, even if some people didn't. Ingrid says, I missed your wedding coverage. What did you think of it? Can you do a quick recap? Okay, quick recap for me <laughs> would be um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was it had more of a normal family feel about it. I liked the fusion of the two different um, countries' cultures coming in. Um, I liked, I really enjoyed uh, the Reverend Curry's um, monologue, but I did think it could have been a little bit shorter because people in this country aren't used to that way of delivering things. But on the whole, I loved it. I loved the dress. Um, I loved the location. Um, it, I was a bit disappointed. Obviously, we didn't get to have a balcony kiss, but we did get a kiss. Um, but yes, I thought everything went went lovely, and it suited Harry and Meghan. Jamie says, check if Philip sent the gifts. By the smell it would be, well, what did we say about Philip today? No, I am not sniffing to see if I can smell Philip. Okay, Eleni says, how about a 1950s or 1960s Australian Women's Weekly featuring the Queen, Royal Family? Could you message me? Um, do you mean you have one or to make one? Uh, Countess of Bavaria said, I want to know where you got your uniform from. I want one. It's It was another gift from the Amazon wish list. Do you see what I mean? It's such a good you know, way of um, people donating to the channel because everything on the list is something that I might, you know, try out for a video, um, you know, wear for a video, use for a video. Um, everything on there I've chosen to help the channel. So, you know, some people like to help the channel um, in and go that little extra mile. So the Amazon wish list is there for you if you want to help the channel grow and develop um, a little bit further. You know, of course, I don't expect anyone to go there, um, you know, and, and gift me things from the Amazon wish list. But I know that there are some people out there that do want to help and do want to be supportive. Um, and some people like to do that. So that facility is there if you want to do that. Um, you know, otherwise, if you don't, that's fine. I am still going to make, you know, videos for everyone for free. You know, my videos are always going to be free for everyone to watch and enjoy um and actually you know you're you're helping just by watching the videos you're helping by watching them to the end you're helping them by giving them a thumbs up you're helping the videos by commenting you're helping by subscribing and hitting the notification bell um so and sharing on social media all these things help but you know some people like to go that little bit further and you know really want you know i, I had people messaging me saying how can i help your channel to grow and you know this was one of the solutions that i came up with and some people have you know really taken to it and really enjoy doing it and like to see the things that they've sent be opened and read out and worn like this i mean i've, I've worn this on many occasions um used and all these different things so you know however you want to help the channel there is a way for you to do that Um, Diamond Janae says, are we aiming for 100,000 subscribers um, by Christmas? Yes, that's my new target, 100,000 by Christmas. <laughs> that's definitely my target. William Roberts says, was Princess Alexandra in attendance today? She's my favourite member of the royal family, along with the Duchess of Kent. Now, I haven't had time to study the entire balcony um, photograph yet. I, I've updated it as my new channel um, banner, but I haven't had a chance to study everything. And of course, the cameras on TV only focus on the royals that they want to focus on. They don't focus on absolutely everybody. Um, and of course, when I was watching, I was kind of filming the clips at the same time. So I didn't notice her, but that's not to say she's not on the big, wide, extended photograph of the balcony. When, when they all came out for the fly pass, she may have been there. Um, I could possibly have just 
kind of missed her in my recognition. Um, so I'm not saying she wasn't there. She could be, but I need to go and check on that one. Maggie says, it must be the middle of the night, but I fought the day and everyone was beautiful. Well, in the UK, it's what? It's half past 11 in, in the evening in the UK. Um, but I'm not sure what time Troop in the Colour was for you where you were. Um, but for, for me, it started at half past 10 in the morning. So it's been quite a long day so far. Okay. Um, I do like my hot tea when I'm drinking, um, when my voice gets a little bit dry. HJ London says, I think Princess Eugenie's wedding will bring another round of interest and hence new subscribers. Um, it seems like every big event um, draws people into YouTube to look for videos or YouTube pushes videos out, um, you know, depending on what event's going on. So yes, any big royal event will push um you know, videos out there and will drive interest in the royal family on YouTube. Diamond Danae says it's 5.30 a.m. where you are. And Glassby says, agree. Any word if her wedding will be televised? I don't think it'll be televised. There's no confirmation on that. It, you know, who knows? But I, I very much doubt it. I think it will be very much in line with Zara's wedding. I think we will obviously see the arrivals and the the exits we'll we'll basically see like what we saw for harry and Meghan's wedding but without the inside ceremony i think i don't think we'll see it televised but who knows um but i very much doubt it i would i would very much like to see it i, I wish it was but i'm i'm not hopeful of it let's put it that way but if we get a nice pleasant surprise and they do decide to then then yay, <laughs> yay for us, because we get to see um, another royal wedding, two royal weddings in one year. How that, how fortunate would we be? But I definitely think we'll get to see the outfit and the people coming and going and all the guests, the arrivals, departures. Uh, we'll still get to see all of that. Sean Jones says, I love your deliberations and always have. However, I did not like the way you titled your videos as if Meghan was not a royal. No love lost, anywho, just better it next time. Well, it was it's very hard to title a video. <laughs> Let me tell you, you only have um, so many characters. And actually, only the first 70 characters are seen in their entirety when people are just browsing videos. So you've got to basically say what the whole video is about in 70 characters. Um, or else people don't see the whole thing. You do have more characters, but you're still limited, but 70 is the key. Um, so it's very, very hard to get across what you want. Um, so I know what you're saying. Meghan is a member of the British royal family. I wasn't trying to make her seem like it was a British royal family and Meghan Markle, um, but I was trying to emphasize the fact that it was her first time. And if you use the, those words, it's. Meghan Markle's first time to this, 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 and this. It takes up all these characters. So I was trying to find um, a reduced way of using characters to express that she was, it was her first time doing doing this, having a balcony scene, riding in the carriage to droop in the colour, um, taking part in this day event, um, but also making her, you know, obviously she is a member of the British royal family now. Um, you know, even using words like the Duchess of Sussex takes up loads of characters. So I tried to reduce that to just Meghan. So on my first go on the titles, I think I used something like British Royal Family um, and Meghan. Or did I use something else? Anyway, I can't remember, but I changed it to including Meghan. So British Royal Family, including Meghan, because I thought including Meghan would make it sound like, um, yes, she's finally here. It's a British royal family, including Meghan now. She's now included because she's part of the royal family. So if someone didn't quite get that, that's why. Because I didn't have all the characters available to explain it in great detail. Uh, but hopefully most people got what I meant by it. Um, I didn't see Jack Brooks Bank on the balcony. Uh, 
Okay, so I am going to leave it here for this week. So thank you so, so much for everybody who has joined. Um, <clears throat> and I will be here next week, live at 10 o'clock GMT, just the same as I am every other week, um, every single week rather, unless of course I tell you in advance that I'm not going to be here or in case uh, an emergency comes up, which I will always notify you on the channel or any other social medias. So <clears throat> thank you for watching and participating in tonight's chat. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you so much um, for the gifts and the card. I really do appreciate them. Um, and I've I'm, I'm got, got to decide where I'm going to put them now. Um, so yes, I'm gonna take a little bit of time packing away my set and I'm gonna find somewhere really nice uh, to put the mug and the card. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed today's chat. Please leave a comment, share on social media, hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.